Pakistan's legitimate prime minister has been under arbitrary detention for 446 days and incommunicado for over 20 days. His sister Nori Niazi, the only member of his immediate family who was not in prison, recorded a video from outside the Adiala jail reporting that despite orders from the court, she is not being allowed a visit with her brother. Fears for Imran Khan's health and well-being abound as Maryam Nawaz's Punjab government halted all meetings between Mr. Khan, his legal team and his family. Meanwhile, Mrs. Bushra Khan was finally awarded bail by the Islamabad High Court after 267 days, but her legal team reported that they went to three different courts to submit the surety bonds and get the release order signed. However, the staff informed them that none of the judges were available. Imran Khan's sisters, Alima and Uzma Khan, have been imprisoned for over 20 days despite them not committing any crime, in clear violation of human rights, and his lawyer, Intazar Panjata, has been abducted and disappeared for 16 days. U.S. representatives Greg Kassar, Jim McGovern, and Summer Lee, along with 59 other members of Congress, have written a letter to President Joe Biden urging him to, quote, use the United States substantial leverage with Pakistan's government to secure the release of political prisoners, including former Prime Minister Khan, end quote. The letter was supported by First Pakistan Global, Democracy and Human Rights Alliance, Community Alliance for Peace and Justice, Pakistan Democracy Campaign, and the Coalition to Change U.S. Policy on Pakistan, CASP. Global observers and human rights organizations are universally condemning the secret amendments passed without any public debate through threats, bribery and abductions by Pakistan's undeclared martial law regime as a violation of judicial independence and the international law. The UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Volker Turk, has said the 26th Constitutional Amendment, quote, will seriously undermine independence of the judiciary, end quote, in Pakistan. Meanwhile, the Human Rights Commission of Pakistan has raised concerns about the 26th Constitutional Amendment in terms of its attempts to subjugate the judiciary, violation of international law, and the clandestine and hasty manner of its passage. The 149th Assembly for the Interparliamentary Union, a global organization of national parliaments of over 180 countries, noted the arbitrary detention and ill treatment of former Prime Minister Imran Khan and other members of his party calling for their immediate release. Dr. Larry Brilliant, a physician, epidemiologist, innovator and philanthropist who worked with the World Health Organization to help eliminate smallpox from the world, has spoken up for Imran Khan, saying that, quote, what happened to Alexei Navalny in Russia's Gulag cannot be allowed to happen to Imran Khan, end quote. British billionaire Richard Benson shared an old photo with former Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan and called for his immediate release from prison. While Canadian engineer, billionaire, internet entrepreneur and former producer Jeffrey Skoll echoed Sir Richard's sentiments. In an opinion piece for British national newspaper iNews, chief sports correspondent Kevin Garside detailed Khan's arbitrary and politically motivated imprisonment by Pakistan's authoritarian regime in the backdrop of the England cricket team's tour of Pakistan. British singer-songwriter and musician Yusuf Islam, commonly known by his stage name Cat Stevens, is the latest global figure who has spoken up for Mr. Khan.